Working with consultants is always helpful. Uh, when is it helpful? Before you need them. We here at The Loft have several technology vendors that we use. Um, currently I use one for software, one for hardware, and a third for our server and equipment maintenance or, or support. Um, you need to figure out what works for you. The larger you are, the more likely that you will work with one vendor to both buy and service your, your equipment. But as you're, if you're a much smaller organization, you may have many, depending upon how your whole organization runs and, and what you have in play. Um, there are a number of tips to working with consultants that might be of, of help to you that I've found to be really important. The first and foremost is, again, talk to them before you need them. Find a number of consultants that you can interview, find out what their style is, that what their, their business practices are, and of course their rates. Always know that you get what you pay for. Um, if you go for the least expensive technology consultant, you're probably getting someone who is a one-man shop, who has a, a great idea to get out there and help the world, but doesn't really have the information to be of assistance to you at a certain point. If you're very small, anyone that has information at all is more than you might have, which is always helpful. Um, and you may have a very limited budget. In that case, you need to be very active and know what they don't know so that you're not paying for the research for them to learn what you need. Um, of course, there are consultants at the far higher end as well, and don't feel like that's the best deal either. You know, you really have to take a look at the organization and find out how they, how they can help you. And, and always ask around if you need tips on who do you use and how do you like them and what's their timeliness. Um, are they usually able to solve your problem and how long does that take? Um, what do they charge you? Is their billing fair and is it even, do they have a nonprofit discount even? Is it, are good, all good questions to ask when you're interviewing a firm. Another important thing is if you, if you think you're going to use this firm for a fair amount of time, say several years, you want someone who's going to fit into your culture as well. It needs to be someone who can talk to your staff as well as you and be able to translate for them so that you don't have to stand there and always be the one that's translating geek speak as it is. Um, and you want to look for somebody who has nonprofit experience because it does make a difference. It makes a difference in how they approach you and the kinds of things that they try to offer you. Um, quite obviously those of us with small budgets can't be on the cutting edge with our technology and we need to be really careful um, in terms of the, the applications even that we put onto our systems because the lifespan of our computers isn't two years like in the corporate world. It may be five, it may be six, it might be ten. Um, so you don't want somebody who's going to try and sell you every gadget that's on the market. It helps if they also are willing to work with shareware or freeware on your behalf um, for the same reason. It's cost effective and it, it generally works just as well as, as the purchased products. Um, you want an organization who's willing to provide you options and not just solutions. Um, I've found that an organization who has all the answers is often the one who wants to sell you something that you don't need or can't afford. Um, if your organization gives you an option like we can, uh, say for example you're replacing a server, um, we can put this server in place or we can add to the existing server you have, or we can virtualize, or we can, you know, you want to have a lot of things to think about, especially if you don't have um, information technology resources at your ready or the time to search them out in order to determine what it is that you need. Um, find a tech, again, that's willing to translate geek because, you know, they can go off so can I right now, but can go off on staff and start spouting jingo lingo, um, all the, the af, uh, acronyms and things, and you're going to get lost really quickly. If you find a good tech, they're willing to sit with you and, and just say, whoa, whoa, time out. Translate to English, please. And, and if they can do that for you in a way that makes sense, then you've found someone that you can work with long term as well. 
Um, and another way to use that resource is to let your, your tech be your teacher. I can't tell you how many things in the nine years that I've been here um, that I have learned as a result of my tech. And it's beneficial both to you and the tech if you know how to solve little things because you're not going to charge your organization money for a five minute fix that you could have done over the phone. Um, they aren't making a trip out here and charging you a trip fee um, for a fix that you could have learned to do yourself. Take notes. Um, make yourself a notebook of all the things that have gone wrong and how to fix them because a number of them will go wrong repeatedly. And some things too, if you have that logical brain, you'll be able to translate from this problem to this problem and you'll be able to translate the solution or find the way underneath in order to find the answers. The last thing that is probably the most important is remember that you are the client. You're the person that they're working for. If they start trying to tell you or sell you something that you don't believe or you can't afford, you have to say that. You have to say, this is not going to work for us. You have to find another solution. And if they repeatedly do that, you've probably got the wrong tech and it's probably time to look for a new one. Um, at, at one point, we were spending far too much for technology consultant research and it's not fun and it didn't make me any friends for a while, but we changed technology consulting companies and I, it, it's been a world of difference. I mean, the company that I have is not a one-man, two-man shop anymore. It's a fairly large shop. Now they have even an even larger shop because they've merged with a third company. And they bring all those resources to bear for you. They have somebody at a technology help desk all the time for you to contact. Um, they have people who you can report bad service to if that's the case. They have uh, resources out there because they're a Microsoft vendor at this level or a Cisco partner at this level or anything that they can go then to their technology consultants and go out and get more specific answers for you than the guy down the street with the gee I want to help the world shop and, and two guys. Um, just know that you you can do this. As an accidental techie it's really important to use your resources around you but you can do this. There are good techs out there and anyone will help you, anyone in the nonprofit industry can help you find those techs and work well with them.